Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Welcome to today's video. We're just going to do a head to head between the Kindle Scribe and the Books Tab X. So both are new products and uh, what we're going to be looking at this video in particular is how they fare for viewing PDFs um, as a sort of main task uh, that a lot of individuals will be looking at when they're using these kind of devices. So just on a quick size comparison there, 10.2 uh, inches, 13.3 inches, uh, you can see there's quite a big difference there um, in terms of the actual um, dimensions. So with the product closed like that, you can see that's about 21 centimetres by 24 centimetres. This one is about, uh, if I do it the same way, so 23 versus 21. And then that's 31 versus 24. These are the styluses. Also, when you look at buying these products, they normally show the weight of the products without the cases. In most cases, most um, individuals are going to be buying the cases. And I would recommend if you do get these products, you definitely need the cases. I initially bought the Kindle without the case. And until I got the case, it was, you know, to just be extremely careful with it. And it just didn't feel natural, natural without the case. Um, and the box case, you know, you just need to, to protect your investment. Um, let me just show you the actual weights um, for each of these um, products with the cases on. So I've just got my weighing scales there. Um, so I'll leave the styluses off. I tend not to have the styluses when I'm just using them as sort of PDF readers. Occasionally I do I do put them in. They both got holders, so you can put the books one in there, the Kindle one in there. I tend to go without the without the uh, styluses though when I'm just using them as pure PDF readers. Um, uh, some of you may wish to sort of have your styluses with you if you want to uh, annotate because both do allow you to sort of annotate uh, PDFs. So I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll weigh them with the styluses on. Let's see what that is. So we've got that reset to zero. This is the Kindle Scribe. And as you can see, that's 644 grams. So that's the Kindle Scribe with the cover and the stylus. That's the books with the uh, stylus on as well. And as you can see, that's 928 grams. So considerably heavier, heavier, but a considerably bigger product. And as you will see, that that those dimensions and the weight are definitely worth it when it comes to viewing uh, PDF documents, which is what we'll look at now. Okay, so I've just opened up both of these products. The um, the Kindle Scribe here on the left and the Books Tab X um, with uh, a PDF manual. Uh, so they're both on the same page. So if I just um, scroll the page, you can sort of see there how they are sort of updating. You will see that this is doing a page refresh on each side. Uh, you can change uh, the settings on the books in terms of how it refreshes. It's got a, a lot of different options here. So if I click on HD there, that sort of cleaned up the page. So it's it's like that. And you have obviously, just like with the Kindle, where you can sort of pull it down and you can change the sort of brightness settings there and the warmness, the warmness settings as well there. Uh, you can do likewise with the um, box so you can change the settings again how you'd like so it's got a, a cold light warm light um, on this um, so you can sort of adjust those settings as well 
So just going back to each of these um, documents, you can sort of see how they are there. So I've got a diagram here on the PDF. I've got some text here. If I want to sort of zoom in, I can zoom in like that. And if I want to move the document around, it seems to be a bit slower, as you can sort of see. It's taking a bit of a time to try to sort of go around and see the document. Lots of sort of moving around to do that. Now, let me just show you that on here. So I can zoom in. And as you can see, it is a little bit there like the um, uh, like the Kindle. The difference is it has got a speed boost option. So if I just go back into here, I normally have things on fast. So as you can see, fast mode with slight detail loss suitable for browsing websites. Now, if you look at the difference now, when I go and I start scrolling around, and if you look side by side here, so when I'm scrolling around here, it's sort of struggling a bit. So it will zoom in and out, that's okay on the pinching. But if I want to then move it around as well, it's quite slow. So when you look at a PDF and you want to quickly look at something, it's quite difficult there. While with this one, on the fast mode, look how quickly I can just move around. So I can zoom in, zoom out, and just scroll very quickly there. Something which the Kindle scribe sort of struggles with. So if you're looking at lots of diagrams, tables, big documents like that, you're going to kind of struggle with the PDF on this, while with this, it's just a breeze. There's even a faster mode on this. As you can see, you've got ultra fast as well, which is even faster for scrolling around, moving things around. So, um, and all it does is it degrades the quality slightly, but not too much. As you can see, it's perfectly sort of readable. So I'm um, just going to put it back into fast mode. That's what I normally have it on. It's got a manual refresh button if you want to go with that. Or you can go with HD mode, which will do the sort of refreshes as you go along. But I, I quite like the fast mode and that's what I tend to stick with. So um, just again to say if I'm, if I'm moving pages, that's how it is with that. With the fast mode, as you can see, it's much quicker. Let's see how that looks with ultra fast actually. So I'm going to go back, just show you a comparison. If I go back to the original page, so we go back to page one. So there we go. We've got safety there and we've got input and safety and important there. So if I'm just scrolling there, you'll, you'll see how they, so you've got that sort of flashing as it's doing the refresh there. While this one's obviously much more natural uh, without the page refresh. Um, and it's just sort of scrolling through. And as I say, the, the, the key advantage to this is with the greater size you've got on this, just reading this, if you just look at that area storage versus storage here, it just means you can take this and just read it without even having to mess around with the zooms. Uh, with this one, you, you may decide, okay, I wanna zoom that. The other disadvantage with the Kindle is that with PDFs, and I'm sure Amazon will fix it in the future, but at the moment with native PDF documents, there's no ability to just turn that around and have that sort of change to landscape. On the top, there is an option here if for, and if you go into the sort of trying to turn it into, um, uh, change the orientation on these, on the layout, if you have a look, it says orientation not available. So it's not allowing you to actually change that into um, the sort of uh, landscape mode. The only way you can actually change it into a landscape mode is if you import this into a sort of a Kindle converted format. Um, and as I'll show you, that doesn't work great. So I'll show you that in a, mo in a moment to show why that isn't a fix and why you're kind of stuck with just reading documents on a PDF in this sort of portrait form. With the books, you don't have that problem. It's got a built-in gravity sensor, a bit like the iPads. It will know how you're how you're sort of holding it, and it will uh, it will sort of uh, change the document accordingly. So we've got it in portrait format. I just need to turn it that way and look how quickly it's put it into landscape. I can scroll down. I can read that. It's much larger. So again, looking side by side there, if I had any difficulties reading it the other way. 
I can read it like this and I can zoom in as well if, uh, you know, if I haven't got my reading glasses on and I want to sort of zoom in, I can do that. I can go around the page, have a look, you know, how I want to sort of look on that page as well uh, and just and just go through. So this is the actual Kindle app that I'm reading the documents on. So in both of them, that's a Kindle, looking at it with the Kindle app. This is on the books, looking at it with the Kindle app, because on the books you have um, Android running on it. It is an out-of-date Android, so I don't know what uh, Onyx, the manufacturer of this, are, are planning, because it's Android 11. I mean, this product has just been released, um, and it was at CES uh, in the US earlier this year, uh, and featured as a, as a new product. But they've got Android 11 on here. Uh, so the only issue that I can sort of see down the line is compatibility issues uh, or you know, security issues uh, in the future if, if there's no ability to upgrade the operating system. But at the moment, for what I'm using it for, which is looking at PDF documents, this just wins hands down because it just allows me to just go through my documents, scroll through them, and it is just so easy to do. There is another key advantage which the books offers compared to the um, the Kindle when it comes to looking at PDFs. And that's what I'm going to show you in a moment with another document. But also, just in case you're wondering, you can sort of scroll down from here. And if you decided actually you want to lock the rotation, again, just like you have on iPads, if you want it, lock it in landscape or portrait, you, it's as simple as just turning it uh, auto rotate off so it's as simple as that so just to show you that i've got auto rotate off now so now obviously it will not it will not change the orientation um as you can see it's got some because of the fast speed mode it's got some ghosting with the ink from the previous page uh if i just click on refresh on that as you can see it's cleaned it up very nicely so you've got that trade-off between uh, speed and a clean page if you want to slow it down then all you do is just change it into hd mode and then you'll have much cleaner pages as you as you're turning them because it will just refresh the page much like uh the kindle but i actually prefer the faster speed which is as i say why i just keep it on fast let me now show you um another document and another key difference um between uh, these two uh, products and why again uh, the books uh, wins hands down okay so we've got the same document open on on both Kindle Scribe on, on the left and the uh, books tab X on the right now with um, something like this so this is a quick start guide for an air purifier showing in the PDF um with these kind of things when you've got them as a pdf they typically have diagrams they have writing and if you wanted to have a look at something like this obviously that's too small to view as we've already said you can't rotate this on the kindle scribe so if you look at a document with diagrams or anything else obviously it's a bit difficult so you're gonna have to zoom in so as i can as you can sort of see i'd have to sort of zoom in like that uh trying to get it the sort of right size and then going through so i'm reading it like that i then want to kind of look at the next page sort of scrolling 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 that's how it's sort of looking over over there that's so that's how it would work on that now let's have a look how the difference is on the uh, book so same thing on it sort of zoom in see how quick that is i'm right there and when i look on the next page i'm right there so i've got none of the kinds of sort of scrolling issues that I'm having here it is just really nice and quick on this to view that I can see the whole page the other thing is if I go back down there and I've got the document like that I, that is what I am stuck with I cannot see the whole page there I can't turn it into a landscape while if I just flip this around there we go we've got that in landscape I can zoom this in so there I can actually see the see both pages there and again compare the difference. So if I'm looking at a complicated document or I'm looking at um, uh, something with diagrams or something else, 
without you know this i can just read it i could read a whole document if it was in this kind of format by just flicking through here i'm going to have the problem that i'm going to have to keep zooming in and zooming out which would make it very difficult to look at long documents the other key difference between these two products is as you can sort of see here you've got some of the text here which is with um, sort of grey and black and, and sometimes it's a bit difficult when you are um, looking at um, uh, looking at documents um, to actually um, sort of get the right um, um, uh, clarity because of the sort of grey factor so if we look at the grey factor there that's how that sort of looks there if you look at the sort of black text here you can see we've got some text there you know it's you can read it there here if we're looking at it, we've got the gray and we've got again text here sometimes a bit more difficult to read now one of the the key advantages uh, of using the box for pdfs is you can actually change the shading so if i just click on here click on this button here and you can see it's got dark color enhancement light color filter um, enhancement so if you just look at for example uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this i'm going to just zoom in now and i'm just going to zoom in and move this display so as you can see there's some text around this and i'm just going to show you the difference it makes um when you i'm probably move that slightly lower so you can sort of see it um so i'm going to just move this and just have a look how this sort of changes so i can drag this across and as you can see it's gone darker if i drag it all the way back here you can see it's gone lighter if i want even more clarity then look what happens when i move the the light filter there absolutely clear there and it's clearer than what you've got on the on the kindle so you can make these adjustments with regard to the actual um text sometimes where you've got as i say you've got gray um text overlaid in, and you've got a, a background um banner on it it's hard to read on pdfs i'm just going to show you that again with something else i'm just going to reset the uh, settings on here so the um so it goes back to its default and now i'm going to just show you so here we've got some text obviously so if i go back up here you've got this text over there let's get that on the kindle so we've got that that's what you're sort of stuck with uh, on the kindle sometimes i find it quite hard to read let's just see if this makes a uh, on this one it's okay but with certain pdfs it's quite hard to read and I have in the past let's see if it makes any difference I've had to go into dark mode um, so it kind of changes everything from you know reverses it so white goes black black goes white sometimes that's what I've had to sort of do and I've had to read quite a lot of pdfs before I got the books just going in that dark mode because that was the only way I could kind of see some of the text on some of the documents where it's got a small font and it's on a sort of shaded background so if you've got a kindle and you're struggling that might be something you may want to have a look at so you just get it from the drop down it's the dark mode but just to give you a like for like again we've got sort of the text there gas and, and that here it's you know it is visible but let's just go back into the settings to just show you what happens if you sort of move these settings so again that is making the background darker I can make it lighter like that and then also with the light filter if you look at that it can just take away the gray altogether so it's absolutely clear so if you're reading documents again that can just help you know greatly you can sort of just adjust this to you know where do you want that to be uh, you can change the darkness as well so the flexibility you have in terms of changing the shades it's something which the kindle simply does not offer so one last thing i'm going to just show you because i know some of you may be thinking okay uh you did mention that you can rotate this um for certain documents as i've said you can't rotate this for a native pdf you can rotate 
a converted PDF, but let me show you the downside with trying to go with that approach. So I've just opened up the um, manual again. Um, this is again in the uh, on the Kindle Scribe. Uh, this is again on the books, and this time I've opened this up not with the um, Kindle app, but I've opened it up uh, with the Neo Express, which is books native reading up so there's another pdf reader on there the reason why i've opened that up in in that mode is just to also i'm just going to just show uh you very quickly how you can also just sort of annotate um but just looking at this at the moment this is the pdf document converted into um kindle uh format because that's the only way you can sort of rotate documents so um, there is a problem with this. The Kindle conversion thing isn't great and it messes up the layout. So this should be the page one, user manual. As you can see, it's got user manual and it's got contents over here. So if I turn the page, you know, it's obviously had some issues there. So if I'm just scrolling through here, that's what this page should be showing here. But the Kindle conversion process um which allows for flexible you know uh, running of the document and change it around it hasn't been able to sort of recognize this so it's just put in a whole load of question marks so if i keep scrolling until i get finally get to the the text here's the text which talks about the safety so if i just and, and that's this page so these are the the two pages as you can sort of see the you know the way it's sort of set out now safety read this so the previous thing about important is on the previous page, which is that it's got the sort of danger. It's not quite clear that, that, you know, where it's a heading and where it's part of the text on this. So why would you use this mode? Well, this conversion mode is the only one that you can actually click into and change the orientation. So that by clicking on that, as you can see, it moves the document into landscape. So if you're reading a PDF and you're really struggling, this is what you'll have to resort to. But the problem you're going to get is because it goes through the Kindle conversion process, it can put in rogue characters. So that's obviously, you know, far and removed from the simplicity of just being able to rotate the document and sort of, you know, viewing it that way. So on this, uh, the other thing I just wanted to show, and, and again, one of the reasons why I've opened this up in the native app. As I say, when I'm reading PDFs, I prefer to um, to uh, read them in the Kindle app on here. I just think it's it's much easier. But if you open it up in the uh, native uh, PDF reading app on the books, it gives you some quite nice features. So if you have a look at the text here now, so it's got safety danger warning. If you wanted to sort of change various aspects, so look, I can just click on that look so it's made it darker if i want to darken it so it's a bit like what i was showing you with the kindle where you can sort of change things but that's quite easy to sort of do there dark color enhancement there as well if i just click on this as you can see rather than make everything bold it's just made it slightly bolder so you've got lots of different options in terms of actually moving uh changing the document so the final thing that I just want to show before we wrap up is just the fact that in terms of annotations, um, obviously on the Kindle Scribe, um, you must have it in the native PDF document rather than a Kindle conversion. So I've just opened up this document again in the native PDF uh, format rather than the Kindle converted format. And you can then just sort of make any annotations, drawings, um, you know, and, and it sort of works quite, quite well. There's the eraser. So this is the Kindle. Works OK. Um, and then likewise with the with the books, you can do the same kind of thing and say this is the books works great so um both are, are quite 
quite good with the um uh, with the with the scribes um i actually think for writing purposes the kindle's probably a bit more responsive feels a little bit more like writing on paper this feels like writing on a screen as you can see and uh, and you can just sort of rub things out with the eraser as well and this feels like writing on paper so i'd say writing wise this is the kindle scribe is probably more closer to writing on paper this you still feel like you're you're writing on a screen but they work well and in most cases you know if you've got this for viewing pdfs um it will you know you're just going to make some slight uh, notations as you're going to go along so you know there's not that much in it as uh over the last month since i've had this um product the books i actually haven't touched my kindle at all because i've been doing a lot of reading just with pdfs on this um on on this and because of the versatility it's allowed me to have a look at quite a large text which i normally have and just upload them here and not carry around manuals or other books and and just view them on here something i couldn't do uh with the kindle um so if you're just looking for a pdf reader um out of these two this is definitely the one to go with if you are after reading books so you know just uh, books off the Kindle store, for example. I mean, you can view them on here. Reading Kindle books, you want to read in bed, you want to read on the go, then this is probably more portable. Uh, so it's still got its use as a Kindle book reader. I would say this is probably what I'd go for if I was just reading Kindle books. But if I was going for something to look at PDFs, then this is definitely the product I would go with. So I hope you found that useful in terms of the comparison and the PDF features. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching this. So please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.